Hello everyone, this is my son Nadir and I am Ahmed Al Murad. Jama Gibni Children's Salon has been part of my family for 21 years and it has been great joy be, to be working with you. I got involved with the Family Advisory Council because we both care and are passionate about the children to exchange ideas and exchange information to evolve and to find solutions for the challenges we are facing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cynthia and my daughter Helen became part of the JMCC family when she was diagnosed with JIA, which is a form of arthritis. I joined the Family Advisory Council when it was first formed. Um, I heard that the center was doing it. I thought it was a wonderful idea. I think it's really important for parents to be involved in the center and for their needs to be heard and their voices to be heard when the center is making decisions about programming and funding and the direction that services are going to take. I'm really happy to be part of the committee and I hope to meet with some of you over the next little while um, and help you connect better with the services that are available and make sure that your needs um, are being met and that the center knows uh, what's best for your children and for your families. Hi everyone, my name is Sheila and my son is Colin. He receives therapy services in school, OT and PT. He has cerebral palsy and epilepsy. The reason why I joined the JMCC Family Advisory Council is to have a voice for Colin in our community, as well as share ideas on how families can collaborate with the JMCC therapists. Um, and shed some light on the life of a special needs family. Um, my motto in life is this, it takes a village to raise our children and you're all such an important part of that. My name is Kevin McShann and it's a real pleasure and an honor to be with you this afternoon. I was born with a what's called spastic quadriplegia cerebral palsy and I have to tell you, I love the John McGivney Children's Center. It's really shaped the person I am today in terms of advocating for individuals with disabilities when it comes to inclusion and acceptance in all aspects of societal life, particularly when it comes to employment equality and inclusion. I joined the Family Advisory Council at the John McGivney Children's Center because I wanted to give the lived experience voice to the work the center was doing. It's a real honor and a pleasure to serve on this committee, and I look forward to reconnecting and meeting all of you. Hi everyone, my name is Maria. This is Nicholas. Hi. This is my daughter Gabby, and she's five. Gabby has autism and is nonverbal. Gabby is currently receiving school-based OT services, as well as working with the AAC clinic as our goal is getting her a communication device so that she can express her needs and wants. Gabby doesn't have a voice, so our priority is making sure that we are her voice so that we can advocate for services and work with agencies to create programs and services that are family-centered and support our learning goals. I joined the Family Advisory Committee to be part of that conversation. Hi, I'm Sue. Oh, hi. My name's Michael Madolfo. Michael used to receive services at the John McGivney Center. Uh, since he's reached so many of his milestones, he's actually progressed to regular community school. Um, I have joined the Family Advisory Council because it's a way for me to give back and pay it forward. I'm hoping to really bring in recognition and awareness to all the families as to what the center really does for us uh, because you guys at John McGivney Center have provided us so much, so much hope, so much teaching, so much guidance. Like We are very, very blessed to have had you in our lives supporting our family and it's people need to know that it's such a privilege to be able to bring their um, children into the center and receive the services that you guys offer and we want to uh, thank you for all that you've done for us and all that you continue to do. Bye!